Winter is coming. Here is my kitty. Winter is coming. Good morning and welcome to my workshop. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how I prepare coax cord for a coax pen blank. I've already turned a few coax pens and it turns out to be very popular. I'll show you what one looks like. The first thing to do is choose or source the correct coax cord. Now co coax cord or cable is used for networking cables or TV antennas. I'll show you two examples. One you should use and one you shouldn't use. Here is two examples of coax cable or cord. So what I'm going to do is I'll just open up the two ends and show you what is the correct one to use. Now to open up or get into the coax cord all you need is a cutting board and a utility knife. About five centimeters back just give it a slit it will give you enough to grab onto. and just peel it open like an orange now this first example this is the one not to use the strands are not it's just not dense enough and this is the perfect example and my previous spins, I've used this coax cable. You can see how dense it is. Perfect for a pen blank. In some cases, depending on the quality of the cable, you might have to do a cut right through. And then just continue removing the outer as well as the shielding and there you go for the purpose of this video I'm going to prepare four brass tubes for two slimline pens now, now because the coax cord is silver or chrome I'm going to actually paint this brass tubes but before that I'm going to just scuff them up quickly here you go they all scuffed up the next thing to do is to paint them and the easiest way to do it is to slide them over a dull stick and just use aerosol this is a grey it's a metallic grey and it's very suitable for the coax cord so let me quickly spray them it's going to take a while just to dry. And there we go, that's painted. So now we must just give it time to dry. And then it's ready for the next step.
that didn't take very long. Now the next step is to glue the coax cord onto the brass tube. And the secret to the success is a cable tie. And I'll show you exactly how I do that. I'm once again going to bring you in a bit closer and show you my gluing process. I'm going to use the inside of the cable. So the idea is to slightly open this, flare it open, Be careful of any wandering strands. You don't want them to get into your way. Imagine you're playing concertina. And there you go. Feed them in like this. Now the secret of doing this, you don't want to bend the, or the wires or the strands out of position. So once it's glued on, it's nicely evenly spread. So what I do, I do a cable tie, space it out about two centimeters, do another cable tie, and the same for the rest. And that enables you to do the gluing properly. I've tied down my first cable tie and now I'm going to space them and tie down the rest and just make sure you get them down nice and even. And depending on how many you want to do, you can cut your length accordingly. I just cleaned it up and trimmed off all the loose ends and now it's ready for gluing. Very important to just put a small little drop on either side of the tube. And let the gluing begin. And the last one. Just give it time to dry. To speed up the process, just use a bit of accelerator. The next step is to trim them with a little bit bigger utility knife. Find the end of the tube and just roll it forward. And there we go. Use the inside of the coax cord as a guide and when you roll it turn your blade at a slight angle without cutting the brass tube and just use that as your cutting edge. Okay so I'm going to do the other four but I'll just speed up through the process. So it's done. 
it went a bit quicker than what I expected. I suppose if you do it a few times, practice makes perfect. Now the next step is to load them into my in-tube mold for casting. And let me quickly do that. Add my tensioner. This tensioner is in line with the end holders. And that prevents the resin from seeping to the vac. And there we go, it's loaded. It's ready for casting. I've added two more. So I always try and do a full casting. Why not use the extra space? Now I'm not going to go through the casting process. I've already pre-casted four blanks to show you what it looks like. Now there's a bit more about in-tube casting and I'll link the video at the end of this video and there you go a little bit of practice and I'm sure you will be happy with your end, end results and that brings me to the admin side of YouTube videos please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions let me have them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos like this. And until the next time, happy coax casting and pen turning. Laka laka!